So I'm going to explain the Kigumi joint. So the, could you imagine when you want to design wooden architecture without using the metal joint and the screw? That would be very fantastic. And especially without glue, that would be a very healthy idea. So I believe one of the key is this Kigumi joint, which is Japanese craftsman joint, uh, joint techniques. So today I want to introduce what is the Kigumi briefly and also how to implement the idea to the modern architecture. So one of the issues is uh, uh, the wood and also the metal joint is a different lifespan. So if the, the two different materials meet together, sometimes uh, it's uh, something that happening and uh, like a problem happening in the f long future. And also in the Netherlands, uh, yeah, it, uh, the weather is very humid. But actually, in Japan, for example, the Kyoto is also very high humidity, like 80% and 70%. But in Kyoto, which is very old Japanese city, you can see very old building, which exists more than 1,000 years. So uh, I'm wondering why. So these three are the key elements. I'm going to explain from the one. So Kigumi joint, uh, which is no uh, uh, the screw and no metal joint, and also no the glue, but you can extend the wood. And with this and the complex joint, and also the corner you can fix, and also you can combine the wood. And one tip is actually the recently the development of uh, uh, the computer cutting the technology. This, uh, the, uh, this complicates the joint, is relatively easy to, uh, to realize. So let, let's look at the floor. So uh, the left one is the normally the wood large, uh, wooden large the beams, and the small uh, the beams, and connect by the, uh, the metal, and which is very rigid. But the idea of the using the Kigumi is actually the one beam is the, the long beams, and also this is the long beams. But uh, this timber, the beams, uh, uh, extended by the Kigumi joints. So to, for example, in the middle, there is a joint, but still extend the, the wood beams. So they combine together, and all these the small connections help each other against to the big force from the outside. So this is the idea. And actually, the wall is also the same thing. And one of the key uh, topics is uh, uh, the replaceable. So the Kigumi is not only for the, the beginning of the construction, after people using the, the, uh, the several, uh, like more than the 50 years, 100 years, uh, if there is a damage or the, if there is a problem, that you can replace using the, this idea. For example, this is a column situation, and this is the beam. So you can see the old part and uh, the new part. So that means uh, the buildings exist for a long period. And from here, yeah, uh, let's look at the, the modern, uh, modern reference. For instance, that, yeah, this is uh, the Shigeru Ban architect and uh, using the Kigumi idea for the roof. So normally there is a lot of the, the metal joints in the making the roof, but the, here is uh, using the idea. And this is the beams and also the columns that the connect by the wooden joint, which is beautiful. And this is very interesting, the, the, the re reference. These all long beams and also the columns made by these small wooden the beams, which is 120 by 120. They combine with the Kigumi no rich without any glue. So which is very interesting for me. And this idea is maybe the relatively the, uh, installed to, easy to install to the, the modern uh, the houses, for instance. So this is the floor, and using the kigumi, and which is very the strong, the, the, and the floor or the ceiling. And this wall is actually the load, load bearing the wall. So from here, and also the here is my proposal. And this is actually the competition, the idea. And, uh, and actually, the, the young was a shuri. So that's why I, I had uh, the opportunity to, to speak about my Kigumi idea here. 
But anyway, I couldn't win the competition. Maybe he, he didn't choose me. <laughs> I'm not sure that. But the, this is also the, yeah, the idea without using the, the, the nails and the, the metal joint and the, the realizing that this, uh, the, the facade and also the roof structure, but it's, which is also the able to the disassemble. And this is more the further idea. And uh, this kind of the large scale of the, the building, usually there is a connection for the, the columns and the, uh, the beams using the metal joint, which is a huge joint. But the using the, the, this idea and this whole facade is one uh, strong structure. So in the end, uh, you might change the, the perspective of the wooden architecture. So from now on, please take, uh, be attention of the uh, joint parts. Thank you. Good.